In the annals of history, few figures are as polarising as Oliver Cromwell. Born into the ranks of the middle gentry, he rose to command the new model army and eventually assumed control of England as its Lord Protector. However, beneath the well-documented narrative of the English Civil War and its aftermath, there are lesser-known facets of Cromwell's life that add depth to his character. To that end, here are seven facts about Oliver Cromwell that you probably didn't learn in history lesson at school. Oliver Cromwell wasn't always the outspoken critic of the monarchy that we know him as today. In fact, he initially served as a member of Parliament under King Charles I. It was only after the King's attempts to undermine Parliament's authority that Cromwell became a vocal revolutionary, advocating for a balance of power between the monarchy and Parliament. This paints a picture of Cromwell as a reluctant revolutionary, driven by circumstance rather than inherent opposition to the monarchy. Cromwell's religious views were often seen as harsh, particularly towards Catholics. Nevertheless, in a surprising turn, he displayed a remarkable tolerance towards Jews. In the 1650s, Cromwell spearheaded efforts to allow Jews back into England after a 300-year exile. This move stood in stark contrast to the prevalent religious intolerance of the time, showcasing a complexity and surprising nuance to Cromwell's beliefs. On the battlefield, Cromwell wasn't just a leader, he was an innovator. His New Model Army was indeed a powerful force, but it was his revolutionary use of cavalry that truly changed the game. Cromwell's tactics combined thunderous cavalry charges with disciplined musket fire, creating a devastating combination that swept away his enemies. This strategic brilliance was a key factor in his military victories during the English Civil War. After the execution of Charles I, Cromwell was offered the title of King. He initially refused this offer though, fearing a return to absolute monarchy. His eventual acceptance of the position of Lord Protector allowed him significant power without the risks associated with a formal kingship, which demonstrated his commitment to a more representative form of government. A gruesome myth persists that after Cromwell's death his body was dug up, displayed in a grotesque public spectacle and even beheaded. However, recent research throws cold water on this story. Evidence suggests Cromwell's remains likely remained undisturbed. This debunks a long-held misconception and allows us to see Cromwell's legacy in a more accurate light. Beyond the battlefield and political machinations, Cromwell harboured a surprising passion for the arts. He wasn't just a man of war, he was a patron commissioning portraits from renowned artists like Peter Lely. Cromwell even supported theatre productions, showcasing a side that valued and nurtured artistic expression. To finish up, here is a glimpse into Cromwell's personal life, a surprising fondness for chocolate. This luxurious treat was still a novelty in 17th century England and some accounts suggest Cromwell even had his own personal chocolate maker. Who knew the stern leader of the English Civil War craved a taste of sweetness? This unexpected detail adds another layer to the complex portrait of Oliver Cromwell. From reluctant revolutionary to championing the return of the Jews, Cromwell defied expectations at every turn. He wasn't just a ruthless general, he revolutionised warfare and even had a sweet tooth for chocolate. Oliver Cromwell's life was a whirlwind, a testament to the complexities of the English Civil War era. But wait, there's more. 
History is full of fascinating figures with surprising stories. If you want to delve deeper into the unexpected sides of historical icons, smash that like button and subscribe. I'll be uncovering more untold stories in future videos.